We're number one, multiplying and dividing by one. One is the identity number for multiplication and division. One times any number is the same identical number, and any number divided by one is that same number. We find the whole by multiplying the parts one and three. And if we're finding the whole, the order doesn't matter. But if we know the whole, order matters. We know the part is 3 if we divide into groups of 1. The important thing is we have to start with the whole if we're looking for a part. 3 divided by 1 is 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. Any number divided by itself is 1. I've written the problem as fractions here too. Get familiar with it. Another example. 9 divided by 1 is 9. There are 9 groups of 1 if I have 9 socks. 9 divided by 9 is 1. If I have 9 socks in each group, I will have one whole group. Quiz time. Hit pause if you need to, but they shouldn't take long. That's right. All the answers are 1. Let's mix things up a bit. We're putting them together. Hit pause. Jot the answers down. Anything divided by itself is 1. Anything divided by 1 is itself. And 25 divided by 5 is 5 because 5 times 5 is 25. Let's stretch a little. 0 divided or multiplied by anything is 0, right? Hit that pause button. Write these down. How did you do? Anything times 0 is 0. 0 divided by anything is 0. Anything times 1 is the same number. Anything divided by 1 is the same number. Anything divided by the same number is 1 and can't be 0, though. Let's do this. The legal stuff. 